Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel and welcome to today's pick a card reading. Today we will be asking spirit for messages from your person. Okay, so this will be a message card only reading. If you've watched them before, you know how they work. Um, always keep in mind that these are general readings as well. So not all messages will resonate for everyone. Only take what resonates with you and your intuition and leave the rest behind. Anyone interested in a private reading, there will be a link in the description box below and also at the end of each section of this video. So today we have three cards and three crystals to choose from. These cards are pulled from the Burning Heart Love Oracle. For crystal number one, we have the Amethyst Crystal with, I want to make you happy. I miss your smile. Okay, for crystal number two, we have the Rose Quartz Crystal with I'm Ready for Commitment. And for crystal number three, we have the Rainbow Fluorite Crystal with I Wish You Were Here With Me. Okay, so choose which crystal or cards resonate with you most. If you're drawn to more than one, that is perfectly fine. You may have messages in more than one reading, okay? So choose however you'd like, and I will see you in your reading. If you resonated with crystal number one, the amethyst crystal, and this card here, this will be your reading, okay? Crystal number one. So today we are asking spirit for messages from your person. And the first one out is I want to make you happy. I miss your smile. So your person might be at a distance right now. Uh, they're really missing you and really wanting to be next to you and seeing you smile. What else for crystal number one, please? Messages from their person. I underestimated how important you are in my life. Hmm. So, tooken you for granted. Uh, they feel like they took you for granted. Hmm. So, there might have been a disconnect here, and now they're kind of regretting that is what I'm feeling there. Messages from Crystal Number One's person, please. Ooh, got two. I'm afraid of commitment. Okay, so they might have been afraid of commitment. They might have ran away from you because this one says, the one that came out with it, says I ran because I wasn't ready for you. Okay, so I feel like they disconnected because maybe you were looking for commitment or long term and maybe they weren't ready for that at that time. They are, I feel like there's some a level of regret for some of you, your person out there. I let people manipulate me into ghosting you. Wow. So I feel like for some of you, when they when they disconnected, people around them would just like, you know, just stop talking, you know? They were kind of like manipulating them into not talking to you at all. Hmm. You know, they might have been like, well, if they want that and you don't, just leave them alone. Don't bother, you know, don't don't bother with them. But really, they wanted to, like, I feel like they wanted to keep some sort of contact with you, with that card there. But they didn't because of other people. Hmm. I want to reach out, but don't know how. Yeah, so they might have a little fear here. Like, they don't know what to say is what I'm feeling here. It's not that they don't know how to reach out. I feel like they have a way to contact you, but they're just fearful of what to say. Like, how to go about getting this back on track. Mm. Yeah, see? I really do care, even though I don't show it. So they were caring the whole time. 
but they just weren't showing it at some point and they're regretting that now. Hmm. Yeah, there was love. They were fearful. I think they I think they felt more than they expected to. I want to apologize. I need your forgiveness. Yeah, see? There's regrets. They feel bad. They want to apologize. They I feel like they didn't want to do this. You know, they they had feelings. I think they were just too strong, you know? They were afraid of commitment. There was a fear of commitment there that they had to kind of work through something. Some sort of fear or insecurity came up. Mm, I should have fought for you. Mm, for some of you, you might have moved on. And maybe they're feeling now like they've lost you. Feeling like they should have fought for you. They should have said something. They should have came to you with their truth. Oops. Wow, look at this. We're meant to be together. I will wait as long as it takes for a shot with you. So sorry if my voice... My voice still feels kind of weird, so... <laughs> I feel like I sound really funny. Um... But anyway, really squeaky. Anywho, um, I feel like your person here, for some of you, they do feel like maybe you've moved on. And they feel like no matter what happens down the road, even if it's not right now, they feel like they're going to be with you at some point, okay, is what I'm picking up with this card here, coming out right after this one. Um, they do feel like at some point you will be together. So I don't feel like they're giving up hope, okay, is what I'm feeling here. I feel like they've, they've got hope for the future here, for this connection. Um, and for some of you, if you didn't move on, I feel like maybe that doesn't apply to you. But I do feel like they're still thinking that you're meant to be together, you know. Maybe they'll reach out when they feel a little more courageous and not fearful okay let's get some more cards here for crystal number one please messages from their person oops hmm our minds intertwine without saying out loud so experiencing telepathy here your person feels like they hear your thoughts Oh, interesting. You might hear theirs as well. There's telepathy between you for some of you. Very connected. Your energy heals me. Wow. Beautiful. So they feel you very strongly, even when you're not in their presence. Hmm. Nice. What else? Messages from Crystal. Thank you. Nice. Let's heal past trauma and solve inner conflicts. So they're really hoping to get through to this inner conflict, fear of commitment. For them, it might be fear of commitment that they're trying to solve that inner conflict. But they're hoping that you're both kind of working toward healing those past traumas and feeling more courageous and ready for a healthy relationship. Messages from Crystal Number One's person, please. I'm so confused about our relationship and occupied with cloudy thoughts. Hmm. So I feel like their confusion is the fear, okay? The fear in the mind about reaching out. They're fearing the worst case scenario here, and it's causing confusion, um, I feel like they really want to reach out and they feel like you have a strong bond, but then their fear kind of tells them otherwise. Um, cloudy thoughts, you know, so they're a little bit in their head and overthinking this at this time. I miss the old you. I miss us. Hmm. I miss the old you. I miss us. So for some of you, maybe they feel like you've grown or changed and you wouldn't want any part of them anymore. The old you, you know, maybe the person who was always there for them. 
Hmm, interesting. You might have always been there for this person. Maybe you haven't been in a while. Maybe you moved on, you know. Hmm, but they're missing you because they miss us. So they miss being with you. Is that my negativity? Look at that. I knew it. That's exactly what that is. And this card coming out right over it. Is that my negativity keeping me away from you? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> In answer to your person's question, yes, yes it is. It's their own muddy thoughts, their clouded thoughts, their confusion is based on fear. So, yeah, okay. So they have to clear the mind, quiet the mind a little bit here. Messages from, thank you, crystal number one's person trying to find my way back to you good so this indicates you know they might be trying to work on that they're realizing that their negativity might be what's keeping them away from you so they this could be indicating that they're working on it that's a good sign messages thank you if you want our love become long lasting give me a hand to build a solid foundation hmm, so they want to work together here with you to build a solid foundation. And I do feel like they do want long term with you. With that card too. Aw. Yeah, with this card, long term, I feel my love for you is unconditional. So they love you no matter what. They do feel the love in the heart. Even though the mind can be all over the place, the love is present in their heart. Very beautiful. Yeah, look, we're not over yet. There's still something between us. So they know that, and it fell right above we're meant to be together. They do know that you're, you're, you're meant to be together. There's something special here about this connection. Let's get these out as well. But crystal number one. I want to tell you how I feel. Oh, so your person is definitely wanting to express their emotions. Mm. So they are trying to, again, find their way back. We have to find their way back, clear the mind, because they do want to express what they're feeling. Look at this. I know I messed everything up or messed up everything. So they feel like they messed up by not, you know, valuing you then, taking you for granted, walking away. They feel like they messed up. We will be together again. Hmm. So another energy of coming back together here. So they know, I feel like your person knows that you're the right path. That's where they want to you and I were too young. Hmm. That's where they want to go is what I was saying here. You and I were too young. So for some of you, you might have been young and, you know, in your ego um, and possibly just not ready for this level of a commitment, you know. Yeah, I do apologize if the audio comes out softer than usual. But like I said, um, my throat isn't perfect yet, so still feeling squeaky. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. So they sleepless nights about you too, thinking about you. You're always on their mind. Okay, let's get more. I want to feel that way again. Yeah, see they're missing the way that they felt when they were with you. Okay, however that was, you know, I feel like it was a really good feeling, but they were just afraid. They weren't ready. I ran because I wasn't ready, you know. I am so attracted to you. Yeah, so they're very attracted. There's a lot of love here and attraction, you know. But there's also fear and, you know, cloudy thoughts about it. Unconditional love, though. Very beautiful. Loving you as you are. I remember every detail of that day. Wow. You know, I feel like there was a very special 
day here for you guys. Something very special between you. And I feel like they're looking back on that memory very fondly. Whoa. I lost myself for a little while. Yeah. They might have kind of fallen off the map. Yeah, distance. They they really pulled away. For some of you, they, they like no contact, ghosted you and everything. And they felt lost for a while, you know. They weren't sure which way to go. What else for crystal number one? Messages from their person. I feel you even though I knew it. Yeah, I feel you even though we are apart. Yeah, that came through earlier. You know, they're really, your energy heals them. They're feeling your energy even when you're not together, you know. Very beautiful. I feel like this is a powerful soul connection for some of you. Okay, let's get these out as well. And tons of cards out today. I have always adored you, if even only from afar. See, so even when they weren't with you, they were still adoring you, okay? Um, even though they might have been at a distance and not saying a word, they had their eye on you. I definitely feel like they were paying attention to you even when you didn't know it. What else, please, for crystal number one? Thank you. I want to share my life with you. Well, long term, I'm telling you, this person wants to, they really do want to be your person. I just feel like it was a lot of, you know, growing and healing that had to take place. The timing was off, you know, when you met or when you interacted. What else for crystal number one, please? Messages from, I think that's a flipper. Yep. I am looking for, ooh, nice. Look at this. See, it's not over, right? I am looking forward to starting over with a clean slate. Okay, so hoping for forgiveness there. Clean slate. Leaving the past behind. And just moving forward to the future. Thank you for blessing me with your love. Wow, so they're grateful for what the love that you've given them. Very grateful. Happy to have met you. Honored to even have you in my life, I just heard. Wow. High level of respect. Someone here. Look at this. I knew it. Yeah. I want you for the long term. Yeah, I was feeling that earlier. For sure. So this is someone who, again, they have regrets about the past. But they're wanting to move forward to something better for the future. Woo. That one almost flew away. Aw. Loving you has given me the hope and inspiration I needed. Okay, to really look deep within and see what do I want in life, right? That's, you know, we have to we have to be clear on that ourselves. And back then when you met or, you know, when this relationship or connection started, I feel like they weren't very clear on that. They were fearful, they had insecurities. They ran because they weren't ready, you know. Wow, I fantasize about what our life would be like being together. So yeah, you are heavily, heavily on their mind. Fantasizing about you and everything here. What else? Messages from Crystal number one. Thank you. I knew it, yeah. I always check your social media and pray you haven't moved on from me. Oh, so see, for some of you... You might have moved on, and that could be how they, they found out social media. For some of you, you haven't moved on, or maybe you haven't moved on, and they see that you haven't, and they're hopeful that you won't, <laughs> okay? Every time they check, they're like hoping crystal number one doesn't have someone else with them, you know, in a romantic sense, you know what I mean by that. Wow. Whew, this is powerful. Yeah. For some of you, this is a powerful soul connection. High level soulmate or twin flame we're talking about. My soul longs to be near your soul. This is soul longing. This is huge. 
very powerful pull, magnetized, you know, they're feeling drawn to you at the soul level. Very beautiful. What else for crystal number one, please? Messages from their person. The thought of losing you kills me. So th that is on their mind a lot. That's come through quite a bit <laughs> um, about you moving on possibly or hoping that you haven't moved on, things like that. So I feel like it's very much in their energy, the thought of it. The thought of losing you is really heavily on their mind. Messages from Crystal Number One's person, please. Whoa. Hmm. Feisty flyer. Okay, I can barely reach it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I miss you. Oh, I miss you more than you know. Infinity symbol here, too. I'm telling you, powerful connection you share with this person. Wow, I am so afraid you will stop loving me. Flew out very feisty, too. Card 22 as well. I am so afraid you will stop loving me. So this time apart, they're fearful that the feelings are going to go away, you know, that you're just going to move on from it and give up on them. Is that my card? Oh, my heart is broken. So they are really missing you. For some of you, yeah, they're really, that soul longing, their heart and soul feels this empty peace here. Wow. I want to be with you forever. <laughs> Very beautiful. Very beautiful final message out here for you guys. So they are looking at long term. I feel like they might want to even marry you. They might see you as someone they would want to marry, you know, um, with wanting to be with you forever here. So absolutely beautiful. I really do hope that this reading was helpful for you, Crystal number one. That is what I have for you for today. Please remember to give the video a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number two, the rose quartz crystal, and this card here, this will be your reading. Okay, crystal number two. So today we are asking spirit for messages from your person and we have I'm ready for commitment. So powerful start for you guys crystal number two your person feeling ready to commit that doesn't necessarily mean marriage okay it could mean marriage but it doesn't necessarily mean it is it could just be commitment to the connection um even if it's from dating to exclusive you know wherever everyone's at a different place in their journey so always keep that in mind okay for crystal number two please and I'm going to apologize in advance if the audio seems a bit lower. My voice still isn't back to normal just yet. I feel very squeaky and low. So um, if it is a little low, I do apologize. Crystal number two, please. Mess it. Whoa. Okay, we got a couple here. I need to work on myself. I'm trying to clear my head. Okay, so they are working on thoughts here. Might be having some fear or insecurity coming to the surface is what I'm feeling there. Mm, I want to hold you. So they are wanting physical contact here is what I'm feeling there. They're wanting physical touch. They're wanting to be next to you. But they might still have some things coming up, okay, with that I need to work on myself. I, I'm trying to clear my head. And of course, because these are general readings, that might only be for some of you as well. I should have fought for you. Hmm. For some of you, you might be with someone else is what I'm feeling there. Yeah, they might... You might be with someone else and they're, they're kind of wishing that they had said how they truly felt. Maybe you didn't know how this person truly felt. Maybe you didn't think they felt the same way. So you moved on with your life. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Let's get more for crystal number two, please. 
messages from crystal number two's person. I fantasize about you. Wow. So you're really heavily on their mind too. They think about you a lot. I'm getting as well. Uh, but they're fantasizing about the future here. Fantasizing about being with you. What it would be like being with you. What else for crystal number two? I need to tell you the truth. Mm. Yeah, so they want to tell you the truth of how they feel. I feel here that that's exactly what they feel they needed to do then. Now they want to tell you. So there could be a shakeup coming, I feel. If you are with someone else, this person might be coming forward and just saying, you know, I really truly love you and had feelings for you. I wish I would have spoke, you know, spoke my truth then. Yeah, see? Look at this. You're worth more to me than I let on. They might have acted like they weren't into you. Is what I'm feeling here. Pretty strongly for someone. Wow. We're meant to be together. I will wait as long as it takes for a shot with you. So they're going to be patient. I feel like they want to speak their truth. They want to let you know one way or the other. But they're still going to kind of be patient and wait, you know. And I mean wait, meaning hold space for you. If you are with someone else. Hoping that you feel the same way. That we're meant to be together. I just heard, I hope you feel the same way. Hmm. You know, in the past, you might have given them the vibe, too, that you felt that way. But they, they didn't give it back. They didn't speak their truth. They weren't reciprocal in that way. I realize all the mistakes I've made. Wow. So they've realized it now. This person has done a lot of work internally here, okay? Done a lot of the inner work. They're realizing where they went wrong. You know, maybe they sh they feeling, especially it's coming out right be beneath that one where, you know, that one was very specifically saying, like, I should have told you how I truly felt, basically, you know? So I feel like they regret not speaking their truth then. Hmm, very emotional. I don't know how to handle my emotions right now. So they might be having trouble, um, you know, working through these powerful love feelings that they're having. And they might be feeling, for some of you, if you've moved on or you're with someone else, they're feeling like, Almost like the only thing they could do, like a last ditch effort almost, would be to speak their truth and tell you how they feel. You know, like they feel almost like it's out of their control unless they actually speak their truth. Yeah, very emotional. Could be spending a lot of time alone too, trying to process these emotions. So if they're not with you, I feel like they might not be with anyone, you know, surrounding themselves. Even with friends, they might be just kind of distancing from their friends and just spending a lot of time alone working on self. Hmm. Think I already have a big crush on you. <laughs> so falling over, I'm ready for commitment. I feel like it's more than a crush. Um, but of course, the crush card in this deck. So it could be a crush for someone. Um you know, this person really having feelings and not speaking up. They had a crush on you then. It might have developed into more than that now. Whoa. Wow, you're not kidding. <laughs> it might have developed into more than that now. My love for you is unconditional. That's powerful, love. Powerful. So, yeah, you know, back then, they might have thought, like, this is just a crush, you know? And then maybe they didn't even tell you, like, they didn't tell you the depth of their feelings. They thought it was just a crush. Maybe they did, too, at the time. And then they realized it. 
they might have seen you move on and then they were like, ooh, like it really hit them hard, you know? Hmm. What else? Messages? Thank you. Sorry for breaking your trust. Wow. So you might have trusted them that they wanted the same things that you did. And then when they didn't come through, you know, they're feeling bad about that. They're feeling like they really broke your trust there. Wow, nice. Must be an adrenaline rush because you set my heart on fire. So when they think about you, lots of passion, fiery energy rises up within them. The fantasizing, those could be sexual fantasies as well with that card coming out there. Oh, wow. I've been watching you over from every source. So could be social media, mutual friends asking about you. Asking mutual friends about you. So for some of you, you might have mutual friends with this person. And they might be talking to them about you, finding out what, what's going on in your life, things like that. Messages from crystal number two's person. <laughs> wow, look at this. That intense passion again. What is that vibe surrounding you that makes me feel intensely passionate? You've really risen in your power. You're very magnetic. You're in that energy of love. Powerful, feeling good, living life, enjoying yourself, things like that. We have two here. I don't want our love. I don't want our love become worse by minor things unconsciously piling up. So they don't want more like they don't want troubles to arise, like little things to keep piling up. So they, I feel like they want to talk, you know, they want to communicate so little things don't pile up. And that might just be for some of you too. I think I have seen you in my dreams before. This feeling is strangely pulling me toward you. So you're in their dreams as well. Dreaming about you, feeling magnetized. You could be connecting in the 5D here. Whoa, this love is lithium. So I feel like they're they're addicted, they're obsessed, they love you. <laughs> they just want to be with you. They're they're really on fire for you here. Their heart and their soul is like lit up when they think about you. They feel like they really messed this up though. By not giving you or showing you how they were feeling in the past. They're very emotion they're very much in their emotions. Loving you unconditionally. That's like the King of Cups there. Yeah. That energy that just came through there. It's like the King of Cups energy. Unconditionally loving you and being very deep in their emotions about you. There we go. Let's heal past trauma and solve inner conflicts. So they really do want to heal and move forward. Okay, anything from the past, they kind of want to leave it there. Leave it in the past and move forward. Let's get these as well. For crystal number two, I wish I had treated you better. Yeah, they have a lot of regrets. A lot of regrets. This person is unsure if you're going to give them another chance, if they're going to get that chance, you know. They feel like you belong together. They feel like you're the one, but they feel like they might have messed up bad enough where you've moved on and you're not looking back, okay. And that's what I feel pretty strongly for someone. I know I messed up everything. Yeah, I knew it. They felt that, yeah, from the beginning I've been feeling. They know they kind of you know, didn't do the right thing by you. They should have said what they were feeling. They weren't reciprocal. They might not have realized, I regret lying to you, see? You might have asked them straight up, and look at this, I am not available, huh? Interesting. Hmm. 
I wonder if, huh, for someone in the past, maybe they were with someone else and they weren't saying. Hmm. Because these two coming out together, I'm feeling like they were with someone, but they weren't really saying. And then you... Because I, I feel like... All right, this person saying, I'm ready for commitment. Back then, I don't feel like maybe they were, you know, maybe that's why they were non-reciprocal. Maybe they were with someone else and they couldn't be. Either way, they feel like they lied to you about their feelings. They might have lied to you about being with someone else. You might have found out about that and then because the, breaking trust, right? So maybe you found out about it and you kind of walked away from them. They should have just been honest, you know. Maybe they were breaking up with this person or leaving this relationship or whatever it is, but they didn't say it. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's get more messages from Crystal Number Two's person. But I feel like those two are connected. I wish things could be different. Yeah, they do. Now this person is in full regret. They're ready for commitment now and you're not, is what I'm feeling here. Either you're not or they're fearing that you're not, okay? They're fearing like you won't give them another chance, that you've really moved on. I'm starting to understand our connection. Yeah, thinking it was a crush back then. They're starting to realize it's more than that. They're feeling powerful love, and that could have been why they were like, you know, not ready, not speaking their truth, because it was just too much. It was too intense. Crystal number two's person, please. Messages from crystal number two's person. So they're starting to understand that the love that they have for you is very strong, and they should have treasured it then it's time for me to heal now hmm so that's working on self I feel like this is a continuing process here because I think they've done they've had a lot of realizations here I feel yeah now they're working on clearing some thoughts I wish I could take back my words wow this person for some of you might have said the opposite of what they were feeling even, okay? They might have said some hurtful things. Hmm. And see, now they're regretting lying. They might have said hurtful things that they didn't mean. There's also that lie about possibly being with someone else at the time that they're regretting. I hid who I really am from you. Yeah. So they had hit who they really were at the time. Okay, and they're, they're in full regret here because now I feel like they're, they're working toward being ready. The first card out is I'm ready for commitment. So this is like, I'm ready to be with you, but I know I messed up so bad that I feel like I don't know if there's a way out. You know, I almost feel like they're unsure if there's a way out. I bury myself in work to forget you. I feel like they stress themselves out with this card. They're stressing themselves out overthinking it. So then they just work really hard and try to forget about the connection, forget about what they're feeling, forget about love, just work. <laughs> you know, it's like, I'm not going to focus on that anymore. <laughs> they get kind of like overwhelmed with it. Okay, let's get these out here. I feel like this person truly acted the opposite of what they were feeling at the time. And they're like, why did I do that? You know, they're really in regret. Oh, wow. Look at this. Being with you will be a dream come true. See? <laughs> it's so powerful what they're feeling. And I feel like they were then too. But they just... They pretended, they self-sabotaged. 
And of course, for some of you, they might not have been with someone else, but they were still self-sabotaging the connection. They could have lied to you about their feelings. That could, you know, because these are general readings, so you always have to take it how it fits for you. Um, I mean, I don't think all of you watching that your person lied to you about being with someone else and you found out. That might have happened for someone here because that came through. But I definitely feel like they lied about their feelings. They downplayed them, you know. They just acted like... This was a crush, you know, it was just kind of like a fling or something like that. But really, they were feeling so much more. They just weren't letting on. Messages from Crystal number two's person, please. Here we go. No one could ever replace you in my heart. Wow. So you're important. You're important. Their heart is yours. I feel like that's devotion here. I'm the one who wants to be with you. See, so they are, they're seeing you with someone else and they're like, oh, I'm the one who wants to be with you, you know? Um, and that might just be for some of you, of course, that they're seeing you with someone else. But they do want you to know that they are the one who wants to be with you. You are the first thing I think of when I wake up and the last thing before I fall asleep. Wow. Always on their mind. So much wishing they could change the past, you know, taking back their words, things could be different, hiding who they really were, a lot of regrets, and maybe fear too, that, you know, you, you're, you're not going to look back, you're not giving them that chance, oh wow, I want you, powerful. Yeah, straight, concise, to the point. <laughs> I want you. So they do want you. They want to be with you. Yep. Yep. Thank you. It's been so hard hiding my true feelings. So they hid their feelings, and it was hard for them to do that, but they, they are admitting to it now that they were hiding their feelings. What else, please? Messages from Crystal number two's person, please. We got two. I always check your social media and pray you haven't moved on from me. Okay? So for some of you, even if you didn't move on, they're still fearful that you might. Okay? And... Hmm. I feel like we are on top of the world when we're together. So the times that you did spend together with this person were very special to them, even though they may have downplayed it and may have not acted like it was very special. It was... What else, please? For crystal number two, messages from their person. You are so important to me. Yeah, see, you are important. They're loyal to you at the heart space. They didn't realize it then, you know, is what I'm feeling here. They were caught up maybe in their ego or, you know, I don't know, trying to follow the crowd or something. You are such an important piece to the puzzle of my heart. Wow. So a piece of their heart. They feel like it's missing without you. Wow. Let me grab this last deck here. For crystal number two, messages from their person, please. Ooh, soulmate, and I want to spend time with you. Well, so you are my soulmate. They feel that strong soul bond with you. Um, you know, it's it, this is powerful love that they're feeling, even though they may have made it seem like it was less than that. And they do want to spend time with you. So they're wanting to be closer. Spend physical time. What else for crystal number two? Messages from their person, please. Messages from their person, please. Ooh, I love you. Wow powerful so lots of passion desire but also love you know powerful words to come through here 
What else, please? I dream about you every night. Wow. Very nice. Oops, can't pick up the card. I dream about you every night. So you are very heavily on their mind. Even at night, you might be connecting to in dreams as well with this person. If you're feeling this strong connection with someone, um, you know, you might dream of them and wake up. They're probably having that same dream is what I'm feeling. They're dreaming about you a lot. Every night. That's a lot, right? <laughs> so... All right, crystal number two, that is what I have for you for today. I really do hope that this reading was helpful. Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number three, the rainbow fluorite crystal, and this card here, this will be a reading. Okay, crystal number three. So today we are asking spirit for messages from your person. And the first one out is, I wish you were here with me. So your person is missing you at this time. I am going to apologize right up front if the audio is a little bit lower. Uh, my voice still isn't 100%. And I'm feeling a bit squeaky. So let's see for crystal number three, please. I wish you were here with me, though. They, so they're missing you very much, crystal number three. Um, I feel they're having sleepless nights there as well. I'm in love with you. Wow. Powerful start here. So there's powerful love that they're feeling. Something here keeping you at a distance for some reason. For some of you, remember, this is a general reading, but that's coming through pretty strongly there. Something keeping you guys apart at this time. Oh, huh, there it is. I was feeling that already. I'm caught up in a karmic relationship. So your person could be in a karmic relationship at this point in time, but they're really missing you. They're in love with you. They're trying to break free. I was definitely feeling there was a physical obstacle there. And that's, of course, energetic as well, right? Because being, you know, caught up in a karmic relationship, that's an energy exchange. So it kind of muddies up the energy. Let's get more for crystal number three, please. I've been working on myself and not the same as I was before. Well, that's good. They've been putting some inner work in here. Might be spending a lot of time alone, even though they're in a karmic relationship. I'm feeling like almost hermit energy here. Feeling like they're spending a lot of time really doing a lot of self-reflection. Crystal number three. Ooh, we have two. Oh, wow. I knew you were the one when I met you. So they were really struck by you. Love at first sight. They knew. They were like, wow, crystal number three and me? Yes, that's that's where I want to be. <laughs> wow, what a powerful message there. Nice. I don't I don't know what that banging is. I'm sorry if you can hear it. I don't I have no idea. Probably outside of my house. Um, I don't know how to handle my emotions right now. So they're very emotional about you. They're missing you very much. I feel like they might even be having sleepless nights, you know upset you know really wanting to just be with you having trouble handling that right now that they're not with you crystal number three please messages from their person mm, i hate seeing you with them mm, for some of you you could be caught up in a karmic relationship as well or in some sort of connection And that might just be for some of you, too. I want to make you happy. I miss your smile. So they love making you smile. How you laugh at their jokes. <laughs> Sweet. So they make jokes for some of you. And they love how you laugh at their jokes. They love to make you smile. How oh, sweet. Ah. All right. The whole deck is not the message for crystal number three. All right, that's me being messy. Crystal number three, please. Ooh. 
I have two here. I have been working on myself. Yeah, definitely. I was feeling that for sure. They're doing that introspection. Look, it says it here too. I've been working on myself and not the same as I was before. So you're going to see a difference in this person. If you haven't seen them in a while, I feel like you're going to see a difference. Oh, wow. Look at this. I was selfish and stuck in ego. So they were allowing, um, you know, their ego to kind of drive this connection at some point. You know, they might have been just kind of conforming to society or what society believes was right or wrong. Um, yeah. And they were letting that kind of drive the, the relationship between you. Hmm. Yeah, they might not have been open and honest about their feelings with you either is what I'm feeling there. They didn't take into account your feelings. Wow. Nice. Look at this. Challenges are to overcome and bring us to a, strain, a stronger bond. They're not supposed to break us apart. Wow. So they feel like it doesn't matter. The other relationships will crumble at some point. They feel like it doesn't matter. I feel like this person really feels you're their person. And that these challenges will be overcome. Even if it's both of you that are stuck in other situations that you're unhappy in. They don't feel like that will break you apart. So I feel like they always feel, wow, they always feel connected to you. And as I'm saying that, your energy heals me flew out. So yeah, they always feel connected to you. You're ever present in their energy, you know, they feel you all the time. You have a strong bond with this person. This could be definitely a high level soulmate or possibly even a twin flame with that love at first sight. I knew you were the one when I met you energy there. Be adaptive and receptive to lead our love to divine growth. Wow. Be adaptive and receptive. So they're hoping that you'll be adaptive and receptive to them um, when they come back around or when they try to contact you. Feeling like that will lead to di divine growth. Wow. Beautiful. What else, please? At this moment, I think we should be friends. So yeah, you probably both caught up. One of one or both of you could be caught up in this karmic relationship. So right now, you could be friends with this person. You might be presenting as friends. I think I have seen you in my dreams before. This feeling is strangely pulling me toward you. Yeah, look at that coming out on that one. Connecting in the 5D. You're both being pulled toward one another energetically, so like magnets. Mm -hmm. Feeling magnetized here. Okay, you have two. It's hard to show, but I do care about you so much. Wow. Yeah, they might not be showing it at this time. Maybe because of that karmic relationship from time to time. We will, from time to time, we will have a happy ending if you and me both emphasize and love for our true selves. So they feel like you're going to have a happy ending, like this is their happily ever after is with you. But empathy and love for self is very important here for both of you. Okay, oh, we have a flipper. I want to reach out for you now. I want to reach out for you now. So they are feeling pulled to reach out right now. So they might reach out and you might still just kind of be friends, but maybe you'll encounter this person, okay? And of course, these are general readings, so always keep that in mind. Not all messages will resonate for everyone, but this person really feeling pulled to reach out to you at this point. Messages from crystal number three's person, please. 
think I already have a big crush on you. <laughs> so for some of you, maybe this person thinks it's a crush. Uh, for the majority here, these energies that are coming through is way more than a crush. This is powerful love. But for someone, it could definitely be a crush. These are general readings. And that card did come through in a different crystal today. So we could have someone out there with a crush. Someone has a crush on you, you know. I do appreciate everything you've been giving me the whole time. So all of the love and patience I'm hearing. All of the love and patience. So you've still been loving and patient with this person. Regardless of current circumstances. Very nice. They're appreciative of that, which is good. Appreciation is a good energy to be in. But see, I want to be more than friends. Right now, we got to be friends. But I want to be more than friends, see? So that's what I was feeling anyway. It's like right now, you can't be more because there's other energy involved here. Whoa, I got two here. Ah. Uh struggling here today okay Ooh, finding out the truth crushed me hmm i wonder what that's about that could be maybe you moved on after you met them hmm. you were the best thing in my life so they're recognizing that you were you know the best thing that's ever happened to them wow okay I am becoming a better person. Ooh, I bury myself in work to forget you, and I couldn't let you get close to me. So they are working on it, though, with I am becoming a better person. Okay, they're working on self here. Um, like I said, that hermit energy coming through earlier uh, with this one. No. I don't remember which one it was but feeling like they're kind of distancing and working on self, um, burying themselves in work. I couldn't let you get close to me. So at some point they really wanted to be closer to you, but they, they pulled away, they self-sabotaged. Okay. Um, and then they might've buried themselves in work. You might've thought like, wow, what the heck, you know, um, we were so close, but then we became so far apart. You know, there was some sort of really big disconnect for a while is what I'm feeling. And then they were kind of just acting. I feel like these two are together. Um, I feel like they were just acting like this didn't matter at some point. That's what I'm feeling with that one there. They acted like, you know... They were just burying themselves in work and just acting like, you know, a regular day. When deep inside, they were they were feeling something really powerful. Okay, that one ran away. <laughs> so I replay our conversations over and over. So they really are focused on you. I feel like they think about what you've talked about in the past, too. Um, the plans we've made. Hmm. The plans we've made for some of you, they might be revisiting those plans in their minds, like really wanting to manifest those things, whatever you talked about. Hmm. I want you. <laughs> wow. There we go. Very powerful statement. I want you. So they do want to be with you. Um, even if, like I said, right now, you both could be tied up with other people um maybe trying to free yourselves from other connections or maybe not you know maybe they're trying to free themselves because they want you and maybe you're happily moved on that is possible too you know it was my fault but i blamed you wow so in the past Everything that happened, they feel like, you know, they were the ones self-sabotaging. They might have blamed you for it um, at the time. And they're realizing that now, that it wasn't your fault at all. It was them. <laughs> okay. We have, I look for you everywhere. That one flipped. I wish things could be different. 
my life is not as together as it seems. Hmm. Okay, I was only going for one, but we got three. So I look for you everywhere. So even though you might be with someone else and they might be with someone else, when they're out and about, they're kind of hoping that they run into you somewhere is what I'm feeling there. Their life is not as together as it seems. So you may be thinking like, oh, this person is, you know, having a happy old life over there. Um, I don't know about that. <laughs> I feel like it's the opposite. I feel like they're very distant from their current situation and they're really focused on you. And I wish things could be different. Yeah. So they're wishing that things could be different than they are right now because they're not with you and they want to be. Okay. They want to be more than friends. They know right now that they can't be, but they really want to be. I feel like there's been a lot of inner work, so there could be some sort of ending or shift happening here in their life or in your life to open up the doors for this, you know? No one makes me feel the way you do. Okay, so the love that they feel with you is different. It's special. Wow, that was fast. I love you as you are. Wow, that's a powerful one too. So you don't have to change anything. Like, you know, you don't have to be someone that you're not. You don't have to pretend to be perfect or anything. They just love you just as you are, you know. Beautiful. Let's get more, please. Messages from crystal number three's person. Please never doubt my feelings for you. They are real and true. Wow. So probably feeling like if they didn't express how they felt, you might have doubted how they felt, you know? Hoping that you don't doubt it. Hoping that you felt it in your heart, you know? Oh, is that a flipper? Oh, no. It was just kind of sticking out, but I thought it flipped over. Messages from crystal number three's person. I had to distance myself because holding back was becoming impossible. Okay. So it was hard not to act on their feelings. And they knew at that point in time they really shouldn't. So they backed off and distanced themselves from you. The thought of losing you kills me. Wow. Yeah, they really, you know, finding out the truth crushed me came through too. So I feel like for some of you, they might have seen you move on with your life. Doesn't mean that you've moved on and that you're never looking back. You could be holding space for this person. You could love them just as deeply as they love you. Um, but maybe they didn't know that at some point and that's why they were crushed. But then maybe they saw that you, you know, maybe it was just a temporary type of short term Maybe you were dating someone, you know, um, but the thought of losing you like forever is really daunting to this person. So I feel like if you are with someone and it is a short term, like, you know, connection, you're just kind of dating or something like that. When they see the opportunity open up and they're available, they're going to kind of want to move right in on that you know like they want to take that opportunity when it opens up is what I'm feeling with that card there messages from crystal number three's person please I'll never let you go wow yeah so you're in their heart you're not going anywhere, you know, in their heart. I mean, you can go wherever you want to go, but in their heart, you'll always be there. You'll always be there. Um, they will, I feel, forever try to once they, I feel like once, if they are in another connection, because, you know, these are general. So for some of you, maybe your person isn't in a karmic relationship. Maybe it's just you, right? Well, if that's the case and they're free right now, as soon as you become free, I feel like they're going to, like I said, jump on that opportunity. Wow. Yeah, see, they want to marry you. I will be honored to share my last name with you. 
beautiful see they want long term so they're not looking for a short term thing here so this could have taken some time for sure working on self things like that wow i want to wake up in your arms every day yeah they're, they're looking at forever here they feel like you're their person messages from crystal number three's person please I'm sorry if I hurt you. That was never my intention. Mm. Yeah, that self-sabotage, you know, um, sometimes even to the extent of, you know, I don't want to be with you. You know, I don't want a relationship with you. You know, th things like that being said, I feel for some of you, that's kind of what your person was doing. They were saying things that they weren't meaning When they walked away, they self-sabotaged it because they, you know, they knew that they had to pull away from it. They weren't ready, but they were feeling something so strong. Yeah, look at this. I've never felt this way in my entire life. See, they were feeling something so strong. I was just saying that. And they haven't felt like this for anyone. So this is really powerful what they felt, you know. Um, and they distanced because they, they were having trouble holding back. And they knew they had to. Yeah, see, for some of you, they had to. So for some of you, I definitely feel like they could be in another relationship. Or you could be, you know, if you have someone else in your life, they're not wanting to interfere in that. I have been hiding my true feelings for you. Yeah, so they haven't told you the truth of how they feel. What else? Messages for crystal number three from their person, please. I always wonder if you still love me. Wow, we got a bunch here. One, two, well, three. I always wonder if you still love me. So, yeah, if you've moved on, they might feel like, oh, I wonder if she still, she or he still thinks about me, you know, if they still care and love me. Practice self-love. So, this card here, I feel like for someone here, they they feel like you deserve better. Hmm. You're the friend. You've told them. You've told them something about your current situation. Very specific message coming through here. You're their friend. You've told them something specific about your current situation. They feel like you deserve more. And they, they hope that you do the right thing for yourself. Of course, they, you know, they would benefit too because they would get to a chance with you. But I feel like they want you to do the right thing for yourself. Yeah, it's very specific. Please show me that you still care. Hmm, another one. I always wonder if you still love me. Please show me that you still care. So they might be unsure about how you feel about them. And that might just be for some of you, of course, right? Because these are general ratings. But they might be unsure that you're feeling, you know, the depth of love that they're feeling for you. They might be, like, unsure. Hmm. All right, crystal number three. Well, that is what I have for you for today. I really do hope that you found this reading helpful. Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading.